Yo yo people, Garrett June here for another video. This video is going to be in flashing lights. And today, we are going to be playing as an EMS supervisor driving an American medical response vehicle. So it should be a lot of fun. And this skin is one that we've seen a variation before, but it didn't look anything quite like this. It got completely reworked and I'm really, really liking it. I also got a custom lighting setup on it. If we hop on in, I can show you guys that. Like, look at this. It looks so cool. I think I actually did a perfect job on the lights this time. Like, I, there's no way or no configuration that I could imagine that would look better than this. But anyways, let's go ahead, wait for the first call. And I'm going to quickly ask if you guys could also drop a like on this video if you do enjoy it at any point in time. And also if you could click the subscribe button and make sure to also click the bell beside the subscribe button so you actually get notified when videos come out in the future. But yeah, let's wait for this first call. Alright guys, we just got our first call. Now this is for a vehicle incident. Driver is trapped. We are responding to this in code 3. So that means lights and sirens. Here we go. Let's get moving. Okay, just watch for traffic, just in case no one sees us pulling out. And the location, I don't believe, is too far away. I think if we turn here, it should bring us most of the way. We are just going to kind of be driving around the side of the interstate. Actually, here, let me show you on the map what I'm talking about. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, it's not far at all. A very, very good location to get to, so I'm happy to see that. And hopefully that means we will be able to get there in a pretty quick response time because that is obviously the main goal. So yeah, I'm going to see you guys once we are a little bit closer though just because I know driving isn't always the most fun of things to watch. <laughs> Alright guys, we are quite a bit closer now. We should see it momentarily. I believe it's going to be on our left hand side. So let's keep our eyes peeled and yep, I definitely see something going on up ahead. Okay, seriously? Whoa! What? I I don't understand the way these guys drive in the game. It That just makes no sense. I wanted to quickly address something that I saw in last video's comment section. And that was someone saying that I was being very disrespectful by mentioning bugs that we are seeing and experiencing when playing a beta game. My response to that is yes, this game is in beta, but it's been worked on for many, many years. The development team is still just one person, even though the game's gone up in price, now costing over $20 Canadian. With that being said, I don't want to hate on the game, but I will be mentioning things I like and don't like about the game. It's not me trying to be disrespectful, it's honestly me trying to be helpful knowing that there are many members who work on this game who actually watch these videos and can address these issues that we experience. But anyways, here we are. <laughs> Let's hop on out, make sure we don't hit that cop car. There we go, and oh yeah, so we have some firefighters here, you see the Los Angeles Fire Department, and they already got the door open, so that is perfect. Let's go ahead, go items, medic bag, and this should be pretty straightforward, I'm guessing we're only going to have to put a neck collar on, and then call for transport, but we will double check, yeah, okay, so they have a pulse, that is a good sign so far, uh, and they're conscious, okay, yeah, and then possible neck injury minor collision here i guess I, I don't know they they look like they got in a pretty big accident but i don't see the airbag or anything either now maybe it got ripped out already by the firefighters so it would be easier for us to work i'm not quite sure but here we go neck collar and yeah since we aren't driving the ambulance we are going to just request for a transport so there we go ambulance is in route to our location so yeah, I think I hear them. Uh, yeah, they are just over there. They might have collided with the fire truck, actually. Oh, yep, yeah, okay. They do not know how to drive. But let's pick up our medic bag, get this out of the way. And you know what? We might be able to drive out of here before the ambulance actually makes it over. Unless they're going to jump out and walk. I, I, oh, yep. Yeah. I had a feeling like that might happen. When they are close enough and just unable to find a way over, they like to walk quite a distance but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and wait for the next call all right guys i just got a call that there was a collision just down the road from where we just were we literally were just over there and yep i can already see what's happening okay let me open up the call information because i do see a cop car escaped convict during transportation vehicle incident uh-oh okay 
we gotta keep our eyes peeled then and hopefully it is safe for us to be working here i'm just gonna park on up just like so making sure we aren't hitting them or anything but i need to block off that vehicle there there we go Alrighty, yeah so this person is on the ground let me go ahead items medic bag there we are now oh okay the officer is down as well is there anyone in the back nope okay yeah that's i guess where they escaped from so here let me first tend to this person just because they are on the ground i want to see what their condition is and yeah not really no pulse found this is not good news okay so we're gonna have to treat them right away let me continue inspecting the body though just in case there is something else we need to watch out for and okay so far it looks to be good let's see this arm yeah okay so besides for no pulse at least nothing's broken but let's perform cpr so take off their shirt there we go still don't know why that is required like in real life maybe medics require that they take off the shirt before they start cpr but i know you can do cpr with the shirt still on i learned this in first aid training but yeah okay use the fibrillator we will do just that all right here we go yeah we're looking at the ecg graph to check their heart rate so we'll go is it items nope it's under technical there we are okay so i'm just gonna place this right here and let's connect the leads one two three three there we are all right and it says to perform cpr on them so let's do that here we are perform cpr now hopefully this time will be a better result i, I i'm not too sure first time didn't work but it doesn't want us to shock them at least quite yet okay there we go let me check this out check the leads it looks a lot better though yeah, so they are ready for transport. All right, so what I'm gonna do is remove all of that. There we go. I'm gonna throw that over here. And then with our medic bag, I don't know why it's not telling us to put a neck collar on. I'm still gonna do so. And we will then pick this back up and request for transport. There we are. All right, so that person is now dealt with. Let me run on over here. And yeah, traffic is so bad in the game right now as you can see they're just colliding into stuff it's been really really bad recently i don't know what changed but something definitely needs to be updated in the game because yeah i've i've had some very bad experience with the traffic as you guys have seen in the last few videos here we go all right so yeah this person at least has a pulse and everything so it looks like this officer will be okay yeah just apply a neck collar and then we should be good for transport here we go. It's kind of tough that we can't transport them ourselves since we don't have the ambulance. But I like how we can just go through these calls nice and quick. So yeah, there we go. Let me pick this up. And is that... Okay, that's the ambulance for the person who's on the ground. Looks like they got picked up. Okay, and these ambulances collided as well. I, I just don't understand how the traffic has gone. Like, there's no way it was always this bad. It has definitely gotten worse. All right, guys, I got back to the hospital and we instantly got a call for a two vehicle collision. Respond code three. So we will do just that. Join Lava Mod's Patreon page to instantly receive access to some amazing modern creations. You will get early access to Lambo, Winston, and Beardshot's awesome ideas. On top of all that, you will get cool textures and other unique modding tools. Join today using the link below. Here we go. Let's get on moving. I don't know if that vehicle is going to. Yep, yeah, no, they just are going to keep doing what they're doing. I wasn't really expecting them to stop and okay they are gonna just walk slow as well and okay um yeah yeah that's that's game physics right there we are going to park over here by the way guys I always get questions about if you should get this game and here's what I'm gonna say if you are okay with all these bugs go for it but if that is something you are not really interested in and you just want a game that's going to work correctly, maybe wait a little bit longer before picking it up to see if stuff ends up getting fixed. Like, I don't know. It, we've been waiting quite a while. I've been playing this game for the past couple of years and I have seen a lot of, uh, like, the game's been updated a lot. It's amazing how much this game has evolved to, like, where it is now. But at the same time, you got to realize that bugs are 
always, or at least for a very long time, going to be this game's main issue unless they get a bigger development team or just something like that. Because to my knowledge, they still are just working with one person in the team, like actually coding the game, which is very unfortunate to see. I've said that many times. So I don't know. That's all I'm going to say. I just keep getting that question. And I always tell you guys that, yeah, go get it. But then a lot of people respond to me like, wait, but it's full of bugs. Like we can tell it's super glitchy. So yeah, that's what I'll say there. Anyways, uh, use defibrillator. Here we go. So, yeah, this person is unconscious. Now I need to check on that other person. But until this guy's breathing, there's really no point because yeah we're we're gonna have to help this guy right away either like either way if that person is doing good or not okay yeah it's saying shock them so good thing we stayed on this person there we go and here we go three two one clear all right they okay i don't to me that graph looks pretty much the same but it's saying to use a fracture kit now so we will do that but I first want to go ahead. Can I pick up this med bag? There we go. I want to check on this person because that is a very important thing for us to do. Yeah, they aren't breathing either. So good thing we went over here. As long as they're breathing, at least that's something. But if there's no pulse and they aren't breathing and they're unconscious, they're pretty much dead right now, which is something that is definitely not ideal by any means. So here we go. Uh, let me take off their shirt and perform CPR. And then hopefully we can revive this person pretty quick. Come on, just have the CPR work, guys. I, I, I've been practicing this, so hopefully we can just get them up on their feet right away. Yeah, it looks like we are going to need this now, so let me remove all since he doesn't really need it. And then uh, let's go put on the leads. Here we go again. Once this person's breathing, I'll go back and finish with the other person. But yeah, they need to be shocked. Here we go. Even though their signs are looking the exact same as the last person. Anyways, three, two, one, clear. There we are. Okay, and yeah, they just need the fracture kit to stabilize wounds as well. So I'm going to go ahead, put this away. And then let's grab. Oh, there it is. Fracture kit. Now there should be two in here, I believe, so this should work for both of them. There we go. Okay, and then let me grab this. Oh, okay, no, not what I'm trying to do. Pick this up, there we are. And put one on this person, and then we will call for two ambulances. There we are. Alrighty. So yeah, let me just pick this up as well. Call for ambulance here, request transport. And let's do the next person. Oh, wait. I always like putting a neck collar on them just because I think it makes sense to do. Maybe I'm wrong, but to, to my knowledge, like I know when I was hit by a car, they put me in a neck brace right away because they were very worried about a neck injury, right? And I, I feel like this would kind of be the same same thing. Now, this person was looks to be in worse condition than I was when that happened, but still... I, I was at least alive. <laughs> and let's put this away. There we are. So I'm going to go ahead and wait for the next call. All right, guys. We just filled up on fuel, and I got a call for a vehicle incident. So we're going to go ahead and head on over there. This is probably going to be the last call of the video. So actually, it will be the last call of the video. So if you guys are at all enjoying, I would really appreciate it if you do drop a like and consider subscribing. It would help out a ton and it will make it so you can watch more videos in the future and actually like know when they come out and you can even leave the first comments if you want but, uh, honestly guys if you want to leave the comment saying first or second or third in the comment section then you got to have notifications on because people with notifications will always beat you there but anyways i am going to drive on over this is a pretty far location so yeah we're, we're going to be going for a while anyways i'll see you in a sec all right guys we're headed off the interstate we're getting a lot closer to the location here we go okay so right hand turn and then we should see them here very very soon uh which way is it oh i don't know okay let me open this up okay we got a turn there we go and we should see them momentarily oh yeah i see a tow truck actually 
Interesting. Okay, and a cop car. Yeah, here we are. And okay, it looks like there's just one person on the ground. Hopefully they are breathing. Again, don't really know. It would be great if the cop was to let us know on the radio, because I feel like he could probably tell, but it's all good. We got here pretty quick. I'm happy at least he made the scene nice and safe for us. So let me check their head first and see if anything's going on there. Ooh, okay, so they're breathing. Pulse is found, but they are unconscious. So that is something to definitely keep in mind. Here we go. All right. Let's just do... Oh, we got a possible bone fracture on their left leg. Okay, that is definitely something we're going to have to address. But yeah, let's go ahead and get the equipment out. By that, I mean the defibrillator. Here we are. Okay, so it's under technical. Here we go. Throw it over here. And put on the ECG leads. Oh, no. We forgot to take off their clothing. I wish we could just leave that on the ground but fortunately we can't we got to do this in multiple steps so there we go now that should be all good so we can grab the defibrillator again and okay hopefully it works now there we go ecg leads one two and three okay that is a good sign he looks to be nice and healthy for the most part so we just got to grab the fracture kit Okay, so yeah, it is a left knee, right? Yeah, left knee. And we are all good according to this. So I'll just throw on that final neck collar. Let me get this over here. Okay, yeah, and the medic bag is what has the neck collar, so that's perfect. Here we go. By the way, guys, I know there's another word for neck collar. Like, I could call it a different term, but it, it's the same thing. So that's why I just say neck collar. It also says that in the game, so yeah. Uh, request for transport. There we are. So I'm going to go ahead and wait for the ambulance. Uh, oh, actually, they're right down there. You guys can wait with me. <laughs> Here we go. Alrighty. Perfect. Yep, I hear the sirens. Come on. There we are. And this time they actually were able to drive fully over here. So that's perfect. And they'll teleport away. There we go. <laughs> All right. So guys, that's it for this video here today. If you guys did enjoy, please drop a like and consider subscribing by also turning on those post notifications by clicking the little bell icon. It helps out a ton and makes it so you know when videos come out in the future. Top of that, I would recommend you guys check the description for a bunch of useful links. You guys can find the mods used in this video or the skins, as well as our Discord server, which has over 2,500 members. Now that server is awesome like i generally mean that and i think majority of people I, i'd confidently say 95 percent of people who join it end up having a good time and we're, we're trying to make that 100 percent. obviously there's the exceptions but yeah if you want to join links down below completely free to join you guys can advertise in the advertising chat if you have any kind of things you want to promote just make sure they aren't like any kind of scams or anything it's mainly for like youtube channels or if you have a discord server and stuff like that as well, you can talk to me in the general chat or talk to other community members and even potentially play games with people. So lots, lots of fun. There's also a bunch of other stuff as well. So yeah, check it out. Discord server, link down below. And then we also have our Patreon page, Twitter, merchandise, Instagram. You guys know the drill. You're awesome. Bye-bye. Want to play games with your friends? Grab a dedicated server from G Portal. Make sure to click the link down below to receive an instant 5% discount.